All right, I challenge you to find a better GPT application than Magpie's product optimization tool. Uh, that might sound a bit bold, but I think it's at least the best in the travel industry that I've seen so far. So this is a four to five minute demo, four to five minute demo. Um, there is no PowerPoint involved at all in this demo. It's live on the site. This is a live application that you can also use today. So this is a dashboard at Magpie with a tour operator that we use as a test. These are real products. Obviously, these aren't going to display anywhere live. Um, so let me just jump into this private car Taj Mahal tour. This had a low optimization score. This is 58 out of 100. You can see it's missing highlights. There's some other things wrong with it. Let's jump straight into the tool. Um, so as you can see, the, the title's fine. There's no description summary. The description's short and not very good. There's no highlights. There's some exclusions, which is good inclusions. So first thing we're going to do is regenerate. So we're going to start from scratch. We're going to regenerate this entire product using the GPT API, which is built by uh, OpenAI. And then we're going to go through the Magpie layer, which takes that, uh, takes that result and formats it correctly for a product in experiences. So there you see the result that's come in. Uh, highlights look pretty good. Everything looks pretty good, better than it was before. So let's go in and I don't like this name. So let's find some different names that we made. This is going to find SEO optimized names based on this description. Um, so let's go private. Uh, let's go. Let's go Agra Taj Mahal tour. That looks good to me. And um, we'll save that. Uh, key, uh, SEO keywords. We have some here already, but let's generate some more. So it's going to find keywords that are used in the description. And it's going to find some keywords that are not used in the description, but should be for SEO purposes. So on the left, these are the ones that are already found. So Taj Mahal private tour looks like a good keyword. Agra Fort sightseeing looks like a decent one. And then maybe everyone searches this UNESCO World Heritage site. So let's save those. We'll close that. And uh, let me just save this so we've got everything. And let's go and mess with the description now. So this is good so far. Um, Let's change the style. So we recommend this persuasive, informative, engaging one, but we have quite a few in here. Uh, this one I like to use. This is uh, this is quite snazzy. And choose an audience. We don't recommend this actually uh, for most applications. If you are very specifically going after luxury travelers, budget travelers, maybe families with young children, use it. Otherwise, it's a it creates a bit of a conflict sometimes. Um, if you've got specific instructions, things you want it to say in the description, things you don't, then mention it here. Just use plain English and write it up. And keywords, we just did that a second ago. So I'll regenerate this now using that. It's going to take a few seconds. It's going to regenerate a whole new description. And again, we're running it through chat GPT, running it through GPT and through Magpie. There we go again. I'm not going to read it. I know it's better. Um, it always is. So let's save that. And the last thing I want to do, I met with a German OTA this morning. They said, can you send me all your products in German? I said, yep, it's going to take me about two clicks. Of course, I chose the um, the hardest language, the longest language. Um, but there it goes. Um, they come out in order. There's the highlights, inclusions, exclusions. Still working on the description. That will just take a second. And that's going to come through. And we can now save this as another version. So there's the German version come through. So what I do now, I save this as a version. So in Magpie, we have a primary, which is normally English, but I can save a new version, which keeps the product intact. So I can create a different version just for language, maybe for a different reseller, that kind of thing. Um, so I'll just call this one, um, let's just call that German. I'm not going to share it right now. And now I've got a German version of that product. We use that for, you can also create a different version for a different OTA. Maybe you want a, a different description for Viator or Get Your Guide, or you want to create a different one for Google Things to do, something like that. So that's it. That product is done. It's it's regenerated. All the all the fields like the duration and price and everything else is still saved in there, but I've now got a full German description and a full English description. I can now share those with anybody that I want. It would take me about two minutes to go and create those products on Google things to do, which I would now do in German and in English. I'd display in both places. And I can also share these with um, OTAs. 
So I go to the share application here. I go click, 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 and I'm sharing these products with anybody that I want. Can then take these descriptions, put them into that OTA, and I'm done. So that was, I don't know how long that took, four to five minutes. I would have spent a bit more time if I'd have been doing it on um, my own products. I would have read them just to make sure. But these descriptions are excellent, and they are better. I hate, I hate to say it. People don't want to hear this, but they are better than humans can write most of the time. Um the, script, the uh, translations are excellent. I can translate to as many languages as I like. Um, so, yeah, a few minutes per product. You've got unlimited excellent product descriptions to increase your conversion on your website, on OTAs. Send it to the local concierge down the street. Print out product sheets, whatever you want to do. This tool is really going to change the uh, change the space. Uh, that's it for now. We This is live on Magpie. You can use it today. Uh, we do want more people to come in and play around with it. We're running really fast on this stuff. We're developing more uh, AI tools daily, weekly. We're really excited about this. Uh, but this is the best thing we've seen so far in this AI space. When we have more, I will share them. Uh, if you want to test this out, please book a demo with us or reach out to me on LinkedIn or one of the team elsewhere. And we'll um, talk to you next time. Thanks for listening.